Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create custom events in Google Analytics 4, how to track custom events on Google Analytics 4. What is a custom event? A custom event is an action that the user is taking on our website that is very hard to track using any of the most common trigger types. What do we mean by trigger types? We mean that this is an action that is not related to a URL, is not related to a button click, is not an outbound click, is something completely different. It's not a form submission, it's something else. So let's say the user creates a wallet in a fintech company, or the user, let's say, uploads a document or the user is, let's say, taking a unique action on your website. So what we're going to learn is how to create events using this trigger type that is called custom event here. How can we do that? So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to run you through the complete setup. And let's take things from the beginning. So first of all, how can we track events in Google Analytics 4? In order to track events in Google Analytics 4, we need two different tools. The first tool that we need is obviously Google Analytics 4, and it needs to be behind the scenes on all the pages on our website. And the second tool, for those of you who are beginners, is Google Tag Manager. So we need to have Google Tag Manager installed behind the scenes on all of all the pages of our website. Right, so that's the prerequisite. Now, going straight to the point, I want to track a custom event. What do I need to do? In all scenarios, we need to start by creating a tag and a trigger. So I'm going to come here to my Google Tag Manager. I'm going to click here on create a tag. I'm going to name this tag test custom event. And I'm going to click on my tag configuration. So once I click on my tag configuration, I'm going to always select the third option, which is called Google Analytics GA4 event. So I'm going to click here on Google Analytics GA4 event. What do I need to do here? If this is the first time you're creating an event, you need to click on this drop down button and you need to provide to Google Tag Manager your measurement ID. Where can you find the measurement ID? You need to go to your Google Analytics 4. And once you go to your Google Analytics 4, you need to go to your admin panel all the way down on the bottom left. And from there, you need to go into your data stream from the middle column. So you need to click on data streams. Then you need to click on your data stream. And when you click on your data stream, you need to click on measurement ID. You need to copy your measurement ID. This is the unique identification number of your Google Analytics 4 property. So you're going to click here or copy your measurement ID, and you're going to go all the way back to your Google Tag Manager. You're going to paste this under the measurement ID box. Next, you need to give your event a name. So you can name your event anything you want. Whatever name you give here, this is the name that you're going to see on your Google Analytics 4. So for example, if I name this event here, test event, like that, when we set up this event and people start taking this action and I am in my Google Analytics 4, under my event count column, I'm going to see here an event that is going to be called exactly like this, test underscore event. Quick note here, always, name your events without including space. This is going to future proof you in case you want to create some custom metrics or custom dimensions in the future. So that's 50% of the job. What do we need to do next? Next, what we need to do is we need to play with the trigger. And we said now that we need to create an event that is relevant to a trigger type that is a custom event. This is what we want to do. 
So I'm going to select here custom event. When I select custom event under my trigger type, one more time how we, we got here just to, to go slower. So we're going to click on triggering. Then we're going to create a new trigger. I'm going to click the plus symbol on the top right. Then I'm going to give a name to my trigger. So I'm going to call it test custom event. And then I'm going to click on trigger configuration and I'm going to scroll down and select custom event. Now here, what the system is asking us to do is it asking us to give the event name. So it's basically asking, okay, you want to track a custom event, which custom event do you want to track? Right? So this is what the system is expecting us to do. So I'm going to temporarily now save my setup. And in order to give a proper name in here, what we're going to do is we're going to preview our Google Tag Manager. So what we need to do is we need to go to our Tag Manager. And on the top right, there is this button that is called Preview. So once I click on Preview here, I'm going to give to the Tag Assistant the URL where the event that I want to track is happening. So I'm going to use my own website now as a guinea pig. So I'm going to connect with my own website. And now you see that in my browser, I have two tabs enabled. I have my Tag Assistant. Tag Assistant is telling me what is happening behind the scenes on my website. And I have my website that is connected to the Tag Assistant. So the next thing I need to do is I need to take the action that triggers the custom event. So if I click here, hire me for training, and I go to my Tag Assistant, you see here that on the left-hand side, this column here is populating. You see here basically that there is a history change, a link click, a click, and so forth. So I'm going to now complete this form in the website, the page that is connected to the Tag Assistant. I'm just going to type here some test values just to go through this example. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on Submit. So now that we submitted this form, if we go to Tag Assistant, we can see here on the left-hand side that there are two values that look slightly different from the rest. So it's not a click, it's not a history change, it's not a page view. There is a value here that is called Generate Lead. This is the name essentially of the custom event. So I'm going to select the custom event that I want to track and I'm going to go to variables. And here you can see that the variable type, the first entry in the table under variable type, it says custom event, the value is generate lead. And that's all the information I need to be able to track my custom event. I'm going to copy the name of the event, essentially the name of the event that is triggered when the user takes an action in our site. I'm going to go back to my Google Tag Manager. I'm going to go back to my setup. And I'm going to say here to the system that every time that someone takes a key action in the website and they trigger a custom event with a name generate lead. Then this event that is called test custom event is happening. Right? So I'm going to save my setup. And the last thing that we need to do is always submit and publish the changes. If we don't submit and publish the changes, then the changes are not going to be active and therefore they're not going to work you're not going to track your newly created event. So now let's actually stop debugging and let's do a quick check on whether we set up everything correctly. So I created a new tag and this new tag here is called test custom event. And this new tag, this new event basically that is called test underscore event is going to fire when someone comes on my site and takes a key action 
that is relevant to this event that is called generate underscore lead. So let's actually test now whether we did a good job. So we are going to click on preview and we're going to preview again my homepage on my personal website. We're going to connect. The system again is going to open up two windows. We have the tag assistant that is connected and we have my homepage here with connected to the tag assistant with this box here on the bottom right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the steps. I'm going to click here, hire me for training. I'm going to give some test values again. And I'm going to select consultation. I'm going to click on submit. So now that we did this, we're going to go back to our tag assistant. We are going to select the custom event that is being triggered, generate lead. And here we can already see that we did a good job. Why? Because under the tags fired, we can see test custom event firing. And why this test custom event succeeded? Because the user took an action on our website with the name generate underscore lead. This is why this event succeeded. Keep in mind that when you create a new event, it is not going to show up immediately in your GA4. It may take up to 24 hours. So if you really want to understand whether you did a good job, try to preview your Google Tag Manager and follow the same steps that I took just now. And if your event is firing, then you did a good job. And very soon you're going to see this action being tracked in your Google Analytics form. I'm saying that because very often, even myself, I'm very impatient. We create a new event. We expect it to start immediately showing up from the very first moment. So give it 24 hours, and then you're going to see that your event is going to be under the event count column. That's how you can track an event using the custom event trigger through Google Tag Manager. If you like this video, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like. It will really help us to create more tutorials. Have a great day and see you in the next video.